so thanks for being here. Um, so Cyborg Camp is an unconference on the future of humans and technology. It's a hybrid conference, so there are some scheduled talks and then there are some unconference sessions. So the idea is that the talks will give you something to talk about if you don't already have something to talk about, and then you'll be able to spend the rest of the day talking with other people. Um, so welcome. Uh, Cyborg Camp history, it started in Portland in 2008. It was organized, the first one was organized in about an hour. Um, I typed in something on Twitter that said there should be a conference on the future of humans and technology. Somebody said it should be called Cyborg Camp. I got back from lunch. Somebody had already registered a domain, set a date, set up a logo, set up a schedule, RSVP'd, set up an event. Break. It just kept going, and a wiki, and there were seven volunteers. So at that point, the conference had kind of created itself, and I was there to steward the conference. Um, so we've had them all over the place. You can organize your own wherever you are, whenever you want, um, by following the, the Cyborg Camp guidelines, which are really straightforward. We've had them in Portland, Seattle, Toronto, um, more in Seattle, some in Vancouver, uh, and now at MIT. And Willow's been running um, the one in Seattle, and that's how we met through Cyborg Camp. So we're kind of co-running uh, this conference this time. Um, I'd like to thank the event sponsor, Mindful Cyborgs Podcast. I'm sure that a lot of you might like podcasts, and if you haven't heard of this one yet, it's a great podcast to listen to. It's all about like being self-aware and also using technology. Um, Chris Dancy, who will be talking later today, started this podcast after coming to Cyborg Camp in 2012 in Portland, Oregon. Uh, so housekeeping. The Wi-Fi, if you haven't already noticed, is open. It's fast. It's MIT guest. If you need to use the restroom, they're behind me to your left, and you just go down this little hall, and then to the right, there's restrooms there. Up, up, whoa, mine's way louder than yours. Up on the sixth floor, we have signs on the inside of the bathroom doors, because that's where we usually have guests in our restrooms. They're so slickly designed that they can, in fact, be confusing at points. You turn the handle up and then pull the door towards you when you're ready to exit. Okay. <laughs> I know it seems confusing, but I have had to rescue people before, and there's no shame in calling for help. Okay. And uh, if you need help getting out of the restroom, um, it's willowbl00 on Twitter, or Case Organic. <laughs> we will monitor for um, need, needs of help with a special search in TweetDeck. Um, uh, um, if you uh, if you want to watch, you're here in person, so you don't really need this. But this whole conference will be live streamed from this room. So if you organize an unconference session in this room, it will be live streamed. Um, if you want some people that are your friends to attend from afar, the live stream is up at subwordcamp.com/livestream. Um, Aaron is running the live stream and a lot of the AV, and he's brought this whole rig up, which is amazing. Um, Every single, you know, from the beginning, we've tried to have participation online um, from people all over the place. So we have a number of people joining in from many different countries right now watching the live stream. Um, speaking of that chat, uh, the main account is Cyborg Camp. The hashtag is Cyborg Camp. The channel on Freenode on IRC is Cyborg Camp. If you don't know how to get into IRC on the live stream page, we have an embedded IRC chat that you can actually use instead of downloading an IRC client if you want to talk with people. Um, we have notes. So for every unconference session, if you want people to take notes, you can go into etherpad.cyborgcamp.com slash cyborgcamp-mit, and you can actually set up uh, whatever conference session title you want, and then people can come in and take notes on your session. Um, it's really nice because then somebody might have said something great, and you forgot it, and then you don't have any of the notes. This helps you get the notes. Um, so code of conduct. This is really important. This is really this conference is about accepting everybody for whatever quirks they might have and in fact celebrating those differences. Um, so with that said, respect your fellow cyborgs. The idea is that we're all cyborgs at this point. Um, and just be okay with everything. If you feel uncomfortable, you can leave. If you are having trouble, come up and, and talk to Willow or I. We will handle everything confidentially and be very kind, um, you know, and take you aside. So just make sure that you feel comfortable here because that's what, that's what we want to make sure. Uh, there's a whole code of conduct that's just pretty straightforward on here um, that you can go to. Uh, we'll have lunch around 12.15 p.m. It's going to be vegetarian. If you want meat, there are food, some food carts really nearby that have meat. Um, it's important to be inclusive of non-meat eaters as well. 
or, and meat eaters, yeah, all the different types of people. Um, on conference, so, well, you want to talk about this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you about optimizing being human in this situation, the human part of a cyborg. Um, <clears throat> so again, restrooms are over here. We can move this space around however we want. So after these first presentations, we're going to move into more circle facing. So uh, all equal around one table. Well, two tables, maybe three. Um, and in general, the media lab etiquette is that we can wander around, but people here tend to be pretty stressed out and focused on their projects, just as anyone in life is. If it is clearly on display, it's OK to take pictures of. If it's a mess on a table, don't take pictures of it. Don't go into the labs um, because it's disruptive to people. One of the unconference sessions, I'll give a tour of the media lab, and that way we can quietly go around and look at things and uh, not pester people, but see them in their native gl glass bowl habitat. Um, <laughs> Uh, scheduling <clears throat> will happen over here. So if you have an idea of a session, you should pitch it over here. Um, and based on how many people are interested in it, we'll assign it to a room. Sessions should attempt to be interactive, not a chance for you to pontificate for 45 minutes about your one idea to a captive audience, which gets us into the law. <laughs> The law of two feet, which is if you are not getting anything from a session or getting, giving anything to a session, you should egress, which means to leave. Go find somewhere where you are going to get something out of it. Um, in a room of n people, try to speak one nth of the time. Okay, so if you tend to be uh, gregarious and speak a lot, be excited to listen to other people. Um, and know that the people in the room are excited to hear what you have to say. So even if you are usually fairly quiet, say what you like. Let's also try to include people who are not here. So the live stream is automatically set up here, but if you can set up a live stream and add it to your uh, session page on the website, that's awesome. People elsewhere can join. It also helps document. We all love over-documentation. Not over-documentation, but thorough. Uh, and I really like this rule of always having one extra chair in any given room. So if you're in a circle, have an extra empty chair. And if, you are, um, if you're in a room and you're coming in and you see that you're about to take the last chair, bring a new one in. It makes it always welcoming for other people to join. Cool? Good? OK. There are actual social scripts that we can just follow, and everything works out pretty all right. In these situations, uh, in, in these rooms, when we are the expert and we know what we're talking about, other people are also experts, including in their own experience. And so we need to go out of our way to hear them and to incorporate what it is they're talking about in, in our worldview. Disagreement is great. Debate is not in this context. Don't have two people in a room having a religious war about coding languages, because then the law of two feet means everyone else is going to leave. Okay, so try to be inclusive in these situations. Um, I think, oh, and one last thing. In this context, and in most contexts, questions are acts of courage. If you don't understand what's going on, ask a question. It helps to expand for everyone else. Cool? So when we get to, to this part over here, I'll, I'll be shouty at you again. And, yeah. Good. Do you want me to introduce you? Oh, sure, but breakout rooms. Oh, breakout rooms, right. I wrote that down and then I forgot about it. All right, um, so we're going to have two spaces in here. So there's the one, again, that automatically live stream. We'll move some tables over here. We have these two rooms, so this immediate fishbowl right here, the one following it. So this one holds four to eight people. The next one holds eight to 12. And then we have one room upstairs, immediately above the second one, which holds 12 to 16. Okay. If we absolutely need to, we can use the Center for Civic Media table, which is in this open space back here. But we are next to other people who are working. And so if we get into an amazing, epic musical of some kind, um, it will be disruptive to their work. <laughs>